and this poor little Aboriginal boy was the same age as me in the same class and he was really really struggling you know had to deal with a lot of probably um, issues probably mental health he certainly wasn't probably the best in the best of health mentally even though, if not health uh, physically health wise but yeah I was speaking the other day and you'll see this video in a minute the next clip to um, a couple of the Noongar elders uh, Violet and Eileen and a couple of others and I brought up the subject I said do you remember that young boy who accidentally killed himself with a rifle over here where these houses are and you'll see what she says right now fellas so here goes What's that? Mm, we'll um stories for you. Oh that'd be nice. Yeah. People wanna hear yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, oh, they, they, you don't think that he knows people are not interested in they are. They are, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. the young kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean yep. once everyone you know, you guys yeah. start yeah. And, and there's not even open left now. No. Any, and don't not forget you. Speak to any elders yeah. around that way, yeah, and yeah. they let them know. Yep. Well, yeah. And yeah, you know where I live. Yeah. Well, if they come here, come up and see me, and I'll come okay. down. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just got to get these stories. Okay then. No but um, as we go along anyway, we'll sort of if we do books. Yeah. Poetry. We'll sort of, mm, talk yeah. to you about it. And things. you're saying about you'll be writing some what poems in Noongar language or? We, um, oh, like right. things like yeah. our air. Give you the Noongar way of saying it. Yeah. Sort of. oh, I took it up to Eileen, she got it all up there, like the, the human body, mm. what it means, sort of thing. Oh, that'd be and nice. the Noongar way. Yeah, because you know, we've got to teach these kids. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. Young Peter, our, that's Nani's um, oldest boy. Yep. He was staying here with us, even his girlfriend. Yeah. And um, he's been taught a lot, eh? Do you remember? Old elder. Oh, that's from, good. Uh, and um, he knows too. Uh, Do you remember the young Peter Riley who killed himself down in the White House opposite the railroad track with the gun accidentally? It was either accidentally or suicide. No, that was Peter Jones. Peter Jones, yeah. that's right. That was some um, Nani's friend yeah. in their school days. What happened there? Was that a suicide or was it an angry? No, no, no. I think it was angry. I don't know if he was in line or, or what, like, but no one. I think they went to court about it, but we never sort of followed up on yeah, it. Yeah, because what, what I remember, I was actually going to Scouts, you know, oh, you know yeah. where Nick Dumble Young Engineering is? Yeah, yeah. There was a guy that used to live in Wajin, and he used, to, he used to take us to Wajin for Scouts. Oh, yeah. And my dad would pick us up towards the end of the day. Oh, and me and Simo were walking yeah. to Scouts, and all of a sudden we heard this big gunshot across the road, you know, and that was when Peter accidentally got killed. And yeah, I remember that childhood memory oh, well, you know because what? he was the same age as me. Yes, yeah, you and Nani, eh? Yeah, Nani and Peter. Yes, and you all went to school together. Yeah. But to hear that, that's the first time we've ever heard a story like that. You're joking. We heard that yeah. he was an aunt. No, no. Aunt and shot, shot him in the house. house. So you guys thought that he was accidentally killed in the bush? Yeah, yeah. Really? He's, he's my nephew. You're joking. He's and is his mum still alive? Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Gone, no. Oh, fa oh, father. She, she had an accident at the yeah. road yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, that's definitely what happened, because I remember. And yeah. I remember telling mum dad that night, that you know, or the next day that... Yeah. Oh. So obviously yeah. they must have kind of hidden it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's a secret story. So it was, who was there? We were all Maybe the town. kids just panicked, you know, they didn't know what to do. And we were all in town here, Billy. Yeah. It was kept silent and yep. said that it happened out because they took, they found a shirt out here where they reckoned they were aren't they? Yeah. We, at the time we were working on the Shire here and we were yep. down there and his name was, he came and saw me for something. He used to come and talk to us, eh? He, he, he was learning about that, I think. And yep. he came and saw me and said, uh, what, he asked me for cooking or something like that, so I gave him a price for a bottle of cooking. 
Or did he bring you a cold drink? And they bought me a cold drink. That's right. They bought me a cold drink because it was hot. Yeah, a cold drink. Yeah. A cold drink, yeah. Yeah. They were at work along the curb, actually. Yeah. Yeah. On the shore. So maybe, do you think, maybe it maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't an accident. Yeah. Maybe it was deliberate. Well, you saying that, that's the first time we've ever heard that. Yeah. We heard it was in the bush. No. Because we. We still are the same way. Yeah. We're distant from each other, yeah. even though we live in the same town. Yeah. Anything could happen, we wouldn't know. Yeah. Billy, did you like, hear that? someone last night? No. Someone was it's knocking on our door morning. last night. Yeah. We got up early and we went to get some wheat for the chooks. Yeah. And we seen a woman's coat eh, laying on the corner up there. Yeah. Coat. But Barry chucked it out where the wheat is. Sure. <laughs> So the impression I'm getting, fellas, is that I know for a fact that this young boy died right here, but whether or not someone's panicked or he was deliberately murdered, I don't know. But from what you've just heard from Violet, Violet says that um, his bloody T-shirt was found out where they were kangaroo hunting, and obviously they told the police that he was accidentally shot at that spot. But I know, I'm 1,000%, I know for a fact, fellas, I remember it. This is one of the biggest childhood memories, and it deeply affected me. I remember walking up that Love Street to Scouts and all of a sudden hearing a gunshot. Also, possible memories of hearing people screaming, our ladies' screams. And then the next day I found out that this young Aboriginal boy um, was killed himself or accidentally shot over here. Whereas, obviously, they've told the police whether or not they've panicked or, like I say, it was deliberate that he was actually shot kangaroo hunting. They brought his body back home. Whereas, a matter of fact, he was shot right here, fellas. This is the spot right here where he died. So I haven't told the police this yet, guys, so it's going to be interesting to see how much interest they take in this subject especially him being a young Aboriginal boy of only about 13 years of age. You know, if this happened to a white kid back in the same day, it'd be a different story, guys. But because he was an Aboriginal boy, no one gave a shit. No one cared. I remember being really upset, even though I didn't know him, but it's probably one of the first people or first young kids I ever knew who actually died. So, so it was definitely... It was, for a fact, definitely the first time I'd experienced someone dying. And especially, it affects me deeply, having witnessed the actual sound of the rifle go off and then hearing women's screams and not, you know, wondering or not knowing what happened and just continuing on going to scouts. And, yeah, I remember definitely, fellas, it was definitely here. And I remember the screaming the gunshot and all of a sudden I suppose you could say there was silence and that's when the cover-up started I suppose so who knows so stay tuned fellas it's going to be interesting apparently the young kid's father's still alive so there might be someone out there carrying a lot of guilt and was and was it deliberate or was it accidental and they panicked maybe soon we'll find out thanks guys I really appreciate it and please watch my Aboriginal videos because this is what I mean guys these people need to be respected just because they've got a different color skin guys they've still got beautiful hearts still beautiful people and so much more thanks guys see ya so right here guys this is the actual place where the houses used to be, as you can see, there's a lot of rubbish, all broken cro crockery and stuff like that, all bottles. And this is the remains of where the Noongar people used to live. And this is the spot right here, guys, where this poor kid died. And was it a murder? was an accident where people panicked. Who knows? It all sounds very, very suspicious to me.